Leo, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. My name is Elsie. You have come to Ten of Cups Tarot. And if you are brand new, welcome here. I hope you'll consider uh, hitting the subscribe button, maybe even the bell button, so I can contact you whenever I upload. Um, I am grateful that you're here. If you could find it in your heart to give me a thumbs up on one of my videos, even more than one would be fine with me. That is how I am able to grow and able to be seen. Um, if you are interested in this reading, it is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, the sign of Leo. Uh, look for details below and what that means if you're unsure what a general reading means. And if you're interested in a personal read with me, please head on over to Wisio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. You can book your reading there um, with me and you can get 10% off your reading until uh, mid-February. So um, you can also book through my website at uh, tenacupstarot.com. All right, this is the Energy Oracle, and I am going to pick a couple of cards, or actually have Spirit pick a couple of cards. I'm going to just shuffle here until Spirit gets uh, gets their stuff together and gets you a card here. And um, oh, look at that, we've got one already. So let's start here. We have Walking Away. So I feel like you have... Um, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you. So, you know, in this picture, this lady's looking behind her. She's leaving the garden. Um, she's leaving the gate. She is uh, look, taking one look back to find out if she really is doing the right thing by leaving. And I think she is because she continues to move. You can see her. She's, she's walking away from something here. We'll clarify more. Then we have Blossoming Abundance. So I feel like these two cards are telling me that this person is walking away toward their abundance. And the um, the abundance that's, that um, they are walking toward is could be partnership. This is card number three. Um, some sort of a partnership, some sort of a job. I feel like there's transformation going on here. And the reason that you were able to walk away from a situation is because there is this uh, transformational butterfly here. So I feel like you're walking into something really beautiful, that things are blossoming and blooming for you, and um, that you are walking away um, to something that you planned, something that um, that you really want for yourself, you need to reach out and, and figure out what's going on in your life, Leo. And it doesn't have to really do with anyone else um, that you know, because you need to make the decisions that you need to make for you. All right, so I'm just going to ask for Archangel Michael. I do need your help, please, with guidance. Archangel Shemuel, I do need your help with understanding. If I could also have uh, the assistance of my angels and guides, I do need your help with signs and symbols uh, so I can still hear and see things as I read. Um, thank you, Spirit, for the beautiful gift you've given me to share with our Leo friends today. All right, here we go. We're going to clarify walking away. What is walking away? Walking away is the Eight of Pentacles. So you could be walking away toward a job, a new job. Maybe you're leaving home because uh, there is a job uh, that might be in another country, another state, another province. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is about working really hard. It's also about self-evaluation uh, and self-mastery. It's about perfecting who you are and being kind to you while you do it. Walking away. Clarify walking away, please. Clarify walking away. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's maybe a little bit younger walking away from their family um, and going out to live their life. I don't think the family is all that happy, but... Oh, look at that. It's something that you really love that you're walking towards. It could be a person. It could be a job. It could be... Um, uh, happiness with friends. Um, the Three of Cups is also about celebration and uh, celebration with a group of people, friends, family. Um, but I feel like you are um, moving towards um, happiness, friendship, um, emotional overflow. We do have cups here. It could be with people who are under the signs of Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I do have the um, the Eight of Pentacles here, which is Earth energy, and that Earth energy is Virgo, um, Capricorn, uh, or Taurus. Tell me about the Blossoming Abundance, please. What do we have for Blossoming Abundance? Clarify Blossoming Abundance, please. 
for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is this blossoming abundance? What would be blossoming and what kind of abundance are we looking for? Ah, the sun. So you are in a growth spurt here. And so things grow under the sun, the grass, the trees, the flowers, and so do you. You grow under the sun as well. So spiritually growing, growing into who you are, the person that you want to be. Um, the sun is about happiness, is about um being happy about where you are in life at this moment and um, working towards being happiest. And then we have judgment. So judgment is about someone that you know uh, coming from the past. This is about a reconciliation here. Um, what do I feel? I feel like this reconciliation is coming from... Um, someone that you were very close to at one time and you no longer are close to. And this is, um, I feel like you're walking away from you. This is you walking away from whomever it was that you had the issues with judgment. Reconciliation does not mean that you're going back to an ex. It does not mean that you're resuming a divorce, a relationship. It does not mean that. What it means is that um, the uh, reconciliation is to come. That's the way that you clean your karma you guys you clean your karma by uh, resolving issues and so it it is time for you to resolve issues with whomever um, you left in the past so let's keep clarifying and see what happens here. The deck I'm using, oh, the deck I did use uh, here, uh, this is the Moonchild Tarot, and the deck I'm using now is the Wild Unknown Tarot. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. Is the Eight of Cups about going to a job? Is it about self-mastery? Um, tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. Eight of Cups. Thank you. These ones usually jump really high. So we have the Four of Cups. So there is an opportunity that you're going to. The Eight of Cups tells me that this could be a job opportunity that you're going to. And... Um, I think that you were you were kind of bored, Leo, where you were. You were bored. Um, you started to get bored where you were. You weren't doing much, not doing anything. And then this job opportunity came up and you took the adventure. You decided that you're going to go on this adventure um, and you're going to um, take this job and keep moving. Um, I think that emotionally you were kind of bored and that's why you left. What else do we have here? Please clarify the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is clarified by uh, clarified by the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you were hesitant to leave because you did love your family or you do love your family. I feel like there also is someone in the background that you had a romantic link to that you decided um, that you needed to leave anyway. So you were sort of, um, you know, we have the Ace of um the Ace of Cups here, which tells me that there was something blooming emotionally between you and another person, and um, you decided that um, you would leave anyway, but it took a long time for you to make that decision. The Eight of Swords is about indecision. It's about not really knowing if you want to go or want to stay, um, overthinking it. Um, swords are all up in the mind, right? It's air, so it's all up in the mind, and you weren't sure if you wanted to go or wanted to stay. I think you eventually went, though, because of the walking away card. Um, three of Cups, please. Clarify the Three of Cups here. Clarify the Three of Cups for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Clarify, please, the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups? Is this friends? Is this... Okay, let me take the one from here. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so you, um, you're you very passionate about the person that you left, um, but you knew that you had to leave in order to be able to continue to grow. I feel like you were, um, with that Four of Cups, you were stagnant in your energy. I feel like you were overthinking everything with the Eight of Swords. And then the Ace of Wands came. You found this passionate, th passionate thing that you wanted to move towards, and you decided to go even though you had someone who didn't want you to go. You had to make that decision for you. So good for you. The judgment card is clarified by the Daughter of Swords. The Daughter of Swords is like the page. So um, the Daughter of Swords is um, someone who is uh, who has been possibly watching you, um, watching you online, watching you in life. It could be someone who lives in your neighborhood. It could be a parent as well. 
I feel like um, the Daughter of Swords wants to talk to you. And if you don't talk to the Daughter of Swords, they res result or reduce themselves to doing investigation online, talking to friends, asking what's going on with you. I think you've cut communication with the person that you left in the past. And that person wants to know what's up with you. Tell me more about the Judgment card, please. Tell me more about Judgment. Judgment is clarified by the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands tells me that this person that you left in the past, which could be over here as well, just wants to have a relationship with you that is stable. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's love. This is um, the uh, Four of Wands, and the Wands are... Um, uh, the wands are about passionate action, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's about love passion. It could be just, you just want to be able to have that solid relationship that you had in the past when you, when you knew each other, but you do have this uh, blossoming abundance here. So that tells me that if you do decide to go forward and um, correct things from the past, that I think it's going to end up being quite stable as a friendship, as a relationship, whatever, whatever sh kind of ship that is. So um, let's talk about the sun, though. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, please. There we go. The sun is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you um, you left because you were offered a lot of money for a job. So Blossoming Abundance was the card up here. I feel like you, um, this Ten of Pentacles here is the money offer that you were given for the job um, that you left for. You are growing and uh, people are noticing that around you. And it is time for you to continue moving forward in your life. We have the Hierophant. You might be looking for um, to do the right thing. You might be looking for someone to marry. Um, maybe you're looking for a new relationship as you move forward. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, which tells me you're going to wait on that just a little bit. So you do want to get married. You do want to have children. You want to move forward in your life. You want things to be happy with the sun. I feel like part of um, this blossoming abundance, though, is to clean up this stuff from the past. So the Judgment card usually bring things from the past to the present to um, make sure that your karma is still clean, right? Um, and uh, because that's really what we're after. We're after clean karma. Um, we don't want to really have, um, you know, spots in the background and things that are worrying us, relationships that don't work out. Um, I am going to go back now. We're going to clarify the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Six of Coins. So whatever it is that you're passionate about here that you left to go away from, um, you just want the reciprocity and you're going to look for reciprocity. And again, the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins has showed up here. So yeah, I feel like, Leo, you have been offered a money on a different job. You've been offered more uh, money and that's what made you leave. Um, tell me about this. Uh, eight of swords though why are you so over why are you overthinking it why did you overthink it Good card here you overthought it because of okay you knew you were going to have to bring something to an end so this is the card of walking away um this is the um the card of walking away was clarified by you know, new budding love and friendship. And you didn't really want to bring that to an end. You didn't want to, um, to have to tell everybody that you were leaving for a job, but nonetheless, you did. Tell me about the four of cups. What were, why were you so bored? Why were you so bored here? What made you so bored in this, in this time that you spent here? Seven of Wands. Okay, so there's arguments uh, among friends, I believe, because of the Three of Cups. Arguments among friends. You just needed to get away from it. You needed to bring the sadness and the arguments to an end. Things were being overly emotional. You needed to go with your passion, the Ace of Wands, and you needed to um, find more money in the job that's going to offer you reciprocity. It's going to offer you, um, you know, give and take and that's what you wanted I don't think you were happy in the job you were currently in or you're not happy in the job that you're currently in and you're planning on moving or moving forward in your life you are going to have to leave some people behind but as you move forward I think you want to clear up this karma first the judgment card here tells me that um, you know this person's been watching you and really just wants to have uh, a relationship that's stable with you whether that's a, a friendship or um, a love ship 
sorry, falling cards here. Too many. All right, so let's clarify the Daughter of Swords, please. Page of Swords, clarify that. Clarify the Daughter of Swords, please. Clarify the Daughter of Swords. Clarify the Daughter of Swords, please. Thank you. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, so it could be the King of Wands, someone who is an Aries, could be watching you, someone who is a uh, Leo like yourself, someone who is um, Sagittarius as well. I feel like it is an Aries that's watching you. So um, I feel like that person wants to talk to you, but you don't want to talk to them. They want a relationship with you, but I think you've cut them off. Uh, Two of Swords tells me that you've decided that if they come forward and they do have an apology to give you, that you may just decide to let them back in your life, but that, you know, the things that you... Um, that you two went through, some of those things are so damaging, I don't think that you will um, ever fix those things. The Page of Cups is brand new, right? It's it's someone who's younger than you or older than you. So there's probably an age difference here. I feel like it's a parent of some kind, a parent, a mentor, uh, a grandparent, someone that you argued with in the family. The Page of Cups is about being at the beginning of saying sorry, being at the beginning of, you know, this Page of Cups is always learning. So the page is learning about emotion, learning how to handle their emotion. And um, I feel like things got overly emotional, but I feel like this is also part of an apology. So I think that whomever is coming from your past that wants to resume this um, this uh, relationship that you had, whether it's love or otherwise, um, I think there's an apology coming with that as well. All right, so what do we have here? We have the sun, we have you making a lot of money, we have you possibly looking for love, maybe finding a new child church in the new area. Hierophant is also corporation. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of money offered to you in the corporation and that you're just going to have to wait for that a little bit. You're going to have to show them who you are, show them your strengths, and then they will decide um, to give you that great big payday. Tell me about the seven of pentacles, please. Seven of pentacles is clarified by the four of swords. So yeah, you need to rest. You need to be on your on your best game on top of everything in order to be able to get through uh, what you need to get through in order to get this job. This interview is going to go well for you. Um, temperance, you're going to be very balanced. It's not going to make you nervous at all, this, this um, interview. I think they just want to talk to you for preliminary reasons, um, not necessarily to tell you whether or not you have the job because I think they're already ready to offer it to you. The Ace of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles and that tells me that the um, Ten of Pentacles is based on clarity that they're going to get from you. This is the interview. This is you being balanced in the interview. This is you being rested and going in there with um, with a, a good attitude, a good balanced energy. This is all going to work out for you. I feel like you're going to get the job. Um, uh, if it is a job that you are applying for here, I also feel like this relationship, whatever it was, if it's a, a mentor, someone older than you, I feel like there, there was something that went on there, went sideways. I feel like you're going to mend those fences. And uh, let's clarify, just um, ask for more uh, energy here. We just need to have more advice here for you. What is the advice for Leo? Take your journey. Enjoy the journey. Make sure that you're really enjoying the journey here because what you are going to do here is going to end up here in this job, in this opportunity. So make sure that you are enjoying the journey. Make sure that you're balanced um, and be sure that you are also making connections in your new place, wherever that is, connect, connecting to people. And that's not just um, in, you know, this caring connection here shows that it might be a bit romantic, but it's not just in romance that you need to make connection. It's with people in general. Um, you know, no matter where you go, meeting new friends, getting new groups of people. And then we have indecision. I think that you get nervous in social situations, but I feel like you're going to be meeting a group of people who are really going to jive with you, who are really going to um, 
um, uh, you know, invite you into the fold and be kind to you. And I think that it's going to be okay. You have a bit of indecision here, but who doesn't? When you're leaving your home and you're going to a new place, to a new job, a new city, um, all of that, it's scary. It can be scary. Ner- it can be nerve wracking. It can be an adventure. It can make you very excited. But I feel as though things are going to work out for you here, Leo, as long as you make sure that you're balanced, your, your uh, energy is balanced, and that you give good decisions uh, and make good decisions, I should say, that you make good decisions and give good answers to any of the questions that they ask you in this job. Just remember, they're not asking you these questions to see if you're worthy of the job. The job's already yours. They're just, they just want to know who you are. That's all. So show them who you are and make sure that you enjoy the journey. All right, I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for coming and watching. I hope that you will be back next time when I do the reading. It's usually on Tuesdays, guys. Again, sorry, I'm a couple days late. I've been a little busy around this around this time of year, but I'm going to go. So happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, uh, happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope it is in love and kindness with the people that you love. I'm going to go for now. Thanks for coming here and watching, guys. Bye-bye.